Launching any business can be scary. Starting your own business from scratch, of course, it's gonna be scary, especially if you don't know how to get started, where to get started, and really how to come up with a plan on how to create some success for yourself. Now, the cool thing is the heat printing industry is very easy to train, get into, and of course, be successful in. So keep watching if you're ready to jumpstart your business and get going with heat printing on custom accessories and garments. Hey, hey, what a fun topic, starting your own business, right? You are ready to get rock and rolling on garment creation using a heat press and maybe you feel a little stuck so i'm gonna help you and guess what you've made it to the right channel here at stalls tv that's all we focus on is making sure we can set you up for success in your heat printing business i'm kelly walters and today we are going to go over how to get started where to get started what equipment you need how to decorate transfers resources, right? There's so, so, so much. Now, I'm gonna do my best not to overwhelm you as I could probably talk on this topic for hours. So if you have any questions, make sure you pop them down below or reach out to us, whether it's customer service or other social media channels. So the first thing I wanna talk about is how to get started and what is your business who are you selling to? So that's the biggest question I want you to think about right now. So why is this question important? Because it's extremely important to know what your business is going to be. Are you gonna focus on t-shirts? Do you wanna do it all? Do you wanna do headwear? Do you wanna do accessories? Do you really wanna be able to provide personalized goods? Do you wanna take any and whatever order is going to come your way? Whatever this is going to be, you've got to know what kind of business you want. This is really gonna help you set up for success when it comes to finding your transfers, what equipment you wanna add on besides the heat press, and of course, what type of training you might need as an apparel decorator. So keep that in mind. Who do you wanna to sell to? What is your niche? And the bigger question is, What's your overall goal with your business? If this is a side gig, if this is a um, you know, part-time thing that you really wanna make full-time, or maybe you're looking for new routes and you're gonna run hard. If you're thinking, Kelly, I don't have a plan, but all I know is I'm ready to get started and I wanna go, I promise you're going to have to make this decision at some point in your business plan, so do it now. Who do you want to sell to and what are you passionate about? Now, as you're forming your plan on who you want to sell to, what kind of apparel decoration business you want to be, what your niche is, um, keep in mind that at any point in time in your business, something can shift. If you haven't had a chance to watch our interviews with some of our ambassadors, go check those out because several of those actually talk about how their um, initial entry into the garment decorating business has changed or changed drastically within one to two years, or maybe it took just a little bit longer, but either way, all of them have pivoted at some point. So just know whatever you're putting down on paper or in your head, it's not set in stone. Now, here's the really, really cool thing about creating a heat printing business. You need one thing besides a computer but you need a heat press. Now, why is this the most important thing for you? Well, that's where you're gonna make t-shirts, sweatshirts, personalization. That's where you can do backpacks. That's where you can do beanies and socks and shoes, right? The list goes on with what I can do with this press right behind me. So. If you are trying to come up with a budget, trying to figure out what is acceptable for you and maintainable to get your business going, put that budget down on paper and keep it in mind that the press is going to be your bread and butter. More specifically, the heating element of the press is going to be your bread and butter. So when you're trying to figure out what press is best for you, there are some things I want you to keep in mind. One, it is the quality of the heating element inside of the press. 
Now, it's very important to keep in mind that time, temperature, and pressure are the recipe for success when it comes to making sure that your transfer, whatever it is, is successfully applied onto the substrate. So whatever garment, whatever accessory. Now, if the transfer you're using is saying, I like to speak in baking terms, the cake needs to be baked at 300 degrees and your press is only baking at 250, then you know that cake is not going to be done like it should. So it's the same concept when it comes to a heat transfer. You really wanna make sure that you're activating that adhesive on the bottom of the transfer to where it is correctly getting adhered to whatever item you're applying it to. So heating element. Next is we wanna make sure that you can actually get a temperature readout. Not just a high, low, or medium read for temperature. We want to know the specific temperature that your out the heating element is outputting. Now, the next is going to be pressure. My pressure is going to be different than a 6'2 man that is standing next to me. My pressure is going to be different than somebody of my same height, but maybe is a weightlifter. So you have to keep in mind that we really need a pressure read on our press. Just by gauging is a little bit difficult. There are presses out there that you can do this with, but the best thing that you can do is make sure that you get a pressure readout. I'm using the Hottronics Autoclam. I'm not gonna do any decoration, but I wanna show you the type of pressure readout that we can get with this press. As I'm lowering right here, I can see the time countdown. If this press lifts up, I can see my temperature, and then right here, I can get a pressure readout. So right now, it's telling me it's at a zero. When I lock it in, it's also telling me at a zero that I have no pressure on my platen. Now, this is gonna automatically open. I say that, but there's no pressure on it right now. So time, temperature, and pressure are all very important when it comes to your heat press. But this right here, the heating element, like I said, is going to be your bread and butter. And it's very important that you do your research on the quality of press that you're getting. Now, I will also say, if you've listened to our podcasts, you've listened to other interviews with decorators, they say how important a quality heat press is. So you have to be the determiner, determiner? You have to determine the budget that is best for you, but, I guarantee you, you will see a return in a quality press. Not only will it help produce beautiful quality pieces that your customers are going to love, but it's going to help with your production time versus having to sit and wait for your press to keep up with what you're doing in terms of output, numbers, orders, pieces. So, like I said, bread and butter, it's the press and ultimately that is all you need to get started. Now. Next, let's talk about decoration methods and finishes because if you are entering to this world and you're curious about what there is to really do, there's so much. If you've been in the industry, maybe you're a screen printer and you're wanting to get into a heat printing business, then you might already be familiar, but with the amount of transfers out there from direct to film, which is DTF, screen printed transfers, which is true plastisol ink, heat transfer vinyl, and then of course there are premium products that are becoming more and more readily available from PEC to embroidered patches and twill. Now, when it comes to direct to film, screen print, HTV, anything that is a heat transfer, keep in mind, not everything is created equal. So if you've used HTV with one company, and you haven't tried it with another, I encourage you to try it with other companies to see which vinyl you like best. Same thing for screen printed transfers, and yes, direct to film. I've seen more and more questions or concerns about direct to film feeling a certain way or it being difficult to use because it's a cold peel. And I can tell you that Ultra Color Max from Stalls and Stalls Transfer Express is a hot peel and very, very easy to use. So let's talk a little about uh, let's talk a little bit more about transfers and how you can get a hold of them. 
So I've got three different types of transfers to show you. Now, all three of these can actually be ordered from Transfer Express and stalls. Now, what that means is you upload your artwork and we will send you the transfer ready to be applied on your press. Now, if you don't have artwork to upload, don't worry, we're gonna get into how to create some art here in just a little bit. But I wanted to show you, this is a metallic transfer. So this is called CAD Cut Metallic, and this is a HTV transfer from stalls.com. I created this script, I uploaded my artwork, and I was able to get this transfer sent to me. That means I don't need any other cutting equipment to make sure I can have my transfer ready to go. I don't need a printer, I don't need a craft cutter, I don't need a sublimation printer, I just need to be able to upload my artwork and have somebody send me the transfers. Now, all we have to do is remove the backing and this is ready to be applied. Same concept with our Direct-to-Film, which is Ultra Color Max, is going to come just like this. You've got a frosted clear carrier, that way you can see where you are applying it on your garment or your accessory, and you can see that you get incredible detail with this type of transfer. Now, this is a hot peel, so it's going to be nice and quick for you in production, and the beautiful thing about this is this is going to send or be ready to ship to you in 24 hours next day. So, if you are new and you're wanting to create samples, you can order just one piece of this versus six or 12 or 24, whatever certain minimums might be. Now with Direct-to-Film, it's the same concept. You upload your art and we'll send it to you ready to be applied. Last but not least that I'm going to show you is a Plastisol transfer. This is Goof Proof from Transfer Express. And as you can see, we have a sheet here with two different logos and there's some other videos that you can watch that will talk about how to gang a sheet or really just dive a little bit deeper into Plastisol transfers. But for this Goof Proof is what we call it, it comes to you ready to be applied. All you have to do is cut and separate the two logos and then you're ready to use it on your press. So, doesn't matter which transfer you use, doesn't matter which one you want to go with, all three of those are going to come with time, temperature, and pressure instructions. So we can set you up for success on creating those quality products. Now with Stalls and Transfer Express, we create transfers ready to be sent to you. With Transfer Express, there is a design platform that if you're like me and you're not really a graphic artist, but you can come up with ideas, that platform called Easy View is going to be a perfect way for you to help design Plastisol and direct-to-film transfers. Now on the stall side, there's actually a couple of different platforms. There's now Easy View LTE, which can help you design for Ultra Color Max, but a website called CADWORKS Live, C-A-D-W-O-R-X Live.com is a free site that can help you design templates and graphics that are vector that way you can upload them, we'll cut them for you here at stalls.com and send them ready to be applied. Now, I know I've gone over a lot of information when it comes to transfers and we have tons of information and videos diving just a little bit deeper, but now I've given you at least three HTV, screen print and direct to film that you can incorporate in your business. Okay, so I've given you the secret sauce, transfers, and press, that is how you create your heat printing business. But let's talk about blanks because you're gonna need something to put those transfers on, right? Somebody's buying a custom item, you wanna be able to have a good product that you can offer them. The best thing I can do right now is tell you that if you have a business license, go in and set one up, that is going to give you the ability to register with blank manufacturers and distributors to where you can get the best pricing possible. If you do not have a business license, yes, there are companies, websites out there that will ship you blank garments and really make it easy for you to start a business. But if you want that best pricing, the best thing that you can do is create that business license. Now, SNS Activewear, Sanmar, 
Alpha Broder. Those are three large distributors that we partner with and work with. Now within those distributors, there's a bunch of different brands that you can either work individually with, or if you like to have options and selections, go to one of those websites and you can really have an array of items from accessories to garments head to toe. Now let's talk about how to sell your product, how to get your product out there. You've got your press, you've got your transfers, you've got your blanks, and you know who you are selling to at this point. So how do you get the product out there? There are several e-commerce websites that are available now. All you have to do is type in selling platform or e-commerce website and so many options will pop up for you. Now, if you choose something like Shopify, that's going to give you the ability to really have a website that people can go directly to and purchase your products. Now, if you are wanting to show people what you're capable of, that platform will work as well, but I'll also tell you social media is exactly uh, the perfect tool for that as well. Now, yes, you can put your brand out there, but you can also show people what you can do for their brand. If you're a little timid on social media, I'm telling you, just give it a shot. You don't have to jump all the way in, but more and more people out there are looking for businesses in their community on social media. They want to be able to connect and interact and make sure that they're supporting you. So make sure you get social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. All of those are important. You can have a website where you are able to um, have people come and order and you can ship and do fulfillment. But another thing that you consider is creating something like team stores or having the ability to create team stores corporate stores. What that means is whomever your customer is, you're creating a store for them and they can send their people to go and purchase products. So if you're thinking about getting in the school market, that's the easiest way to get parents to purchase team or spirit wear is by having a website with products that you've created for those schools. All you have to do is give that website to the coach, the school, the parents, whomever is in charge of that, and they'll make sure that they send their parents to your site and get those orders completed. Now, there's many, many different ways that you can really get your product out there. Word of mouth, create samples, and really make sure you tell your friends and family that you have created a business. You never know who could be your first customer. And of course, just know your business could completely change overnight. Go watch some of those ambassador videos. And um, I know Shelby Gage was one that kind of had her business just flip and they got so busy so fast. Now, if you're a graphic artist and you know how to create art or you're a photographer and you're trying to get your images on to garments, awesome. You understand that side of the art world. But if you are new to this industry and you just have this passion for wanting to create custom garments and you need some help with art, I gave a couple of ideas earlier from Easy View and CADWorks but you can actually take college classes on how to use platforms like Corel or Adobe Illustrator. The other thing is there are several art classes available at trade shows that have a focus on um, apparel decorating or um, embroidery, screen printing. There's always education available, whether it's right here on YouTube, in person at events and trade shows, or of course, you can go take some classes. I guarantee you, you won't be the only one learning how to get that started. Now, there are a lot of other tools that you can use from buying designs from people on Etsy, or maybe you're hiring an artist that can help you bring your art and your vision to life. There's a lot of different ways. Google will be your best friend. And of course, do not hesitate to reach out to our Heat Press for Profit community on Facebook and just ask some of their favorite platforms. I know the members of that group have no problem giving you and sharing tips and tricks that have worked for them. And of course, things that haven't worked for them. 
Now we've gone over a lot of information, like a lot, a lot. So if you didn't take notes, rewind this video and start taking notes. That's gonna be the best way that you can kind of help shift and create the path that you need for success. Like I've said before, and in many other videos, we are always here to help. The best thing that you can do is go to a local trade show or hop on a plane, get in the car, and go to the nearest trade show around you. We do several education classes throughout the year at many, many different shows. And of course, we are always doing webinars on both stalls.com and transferexpress.com. There's videos that launch here weekly. We're always listing tips and tricks on social media, Instagram and TikTok, and of course, Facebook. And if you prefer to listen versus watch, you can check out our live podcasts every Friday, or of course, stream podcasts, however you stream, whatever podcast you're listening to. I'm Kelly Walters. Thanks so much for tuning in. And just keep in mind, one of the best things that you can do for your business is to get started. Get some of those bones laid out, move forward, but also be willing to adjust. Happy decorating.